Yo guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex Mandre. Welcome back to this channel where we go over magic, magic tutorials, talk about theory, and make you a better performer. And I think a better person in general. That's what I think this channel should be about. So today's video, we are looking at the Invisible Palm Open Traveler's routine that I performed on my Instagram. If you haven't seen it, go ahead, go and follow me on my Instagram. I post daily there, so if I'm missing a few videos here and there and you're like, where's Pandrea? You could always go check out my Instagram and get fresh content right there. Fresh content, love it. And speaking of fresh content, I just posted a few days ago, or actually I don't know when this video is gonna be up, but I did post an IGTV on an effect that I truly enjoy doing. I have my version on it, but there are so many different versions of it. So what we're gonna do in this video is take a look at the video that I performed. All right, the sun is coming down and this is not good for filming. How's that, better? No, not better. Better? Better. So what was I talking about? Right, so we're gonna look at the routine that I performed, sort of break it down. I'm not gonna teach you every single move on there because some of them is just not mine to teach, but we're gonna go over the routine in a very easy way to perform it with the different slides. So we're gonna learn all of that. Enough of me talking, let's just watch the video and get into it. history and crediting before we start. I first read about this effect in a book called Jennings 67. It's an amazing book by Larry Jennings. And after doing a little bit of research, I saw that it actually went back a little bit further until it was developed into this more standard version that everybody knows today. I'm gonna leave the link to a whole crediting page with history on the effect. So if you are interested, which I think you should be, go ahead, check that out, and then come back and let's learn this effect. Now there are many parts to this effect and learning to do it is going to be about learning the individual moves and then putting it together uh, that suits you to your situation, to your performance style, etc. Now what I did on the video, I'm not gonna teach you exactly, but I will teach you a very standard way of doing it with all the moves right here. The main thing about this routine is the idea of a card being palmed invisibly in your hand. So you're gonna show the palm like this and then you're gonna palm the card invisibly and then turn your hand over and it'll sort of be gone, disappeared, vanished, etc. And then you're gonna place it down on the table and when you place it down on the table, it's going to look like it appears by placing it down like that and it's just gonna look like it appears like that, okay? So that's the premise of this whole thing as you saw in the performance video. So let's learn that part first. And again, I'm gonna teach you all the parts and then we're gonna put it together uh, at the end. So two cards as one on the table like that, okay? So you're gonna just hold the two cards. And the way that I like to do it by placing it on the table is one of two ways. We could either just bend the card just a little bit, all right, which is gonna sort of put them together a little bit more, bend the card and just drop it on the table. Now again, it works best if you have a mat, but I like to do things sort of on the cuff, on restaurant tables, etc. cetera. Um, so I do like to practice on harder surfaces like this. Another way to do it is to take the two cards and just lay it on the table instead of dropping it if you're afraid that it's gonna split. You can put pressure with your first finger, let go of your middle finger, and then let go of your thumb, and then let go slowly of your first finger, and that should keep it nice and squared on the table. Okay, so like that. Now to make it appear, you're gonna have your hand just like this, and you're gonna put your hand on top of the card, but with the base right here of the pinky, so the pinky, 
down to, uh, I guess, where you could see the tattoo over here. So this part of the hand will be placed on the right side, the edge of the card. So you're gonna come here, put pressure on there, and as you turn your hand over, this is moving it to the side as you're turning your hand because of the pressure. So it's contacting this, and as you're turning, you could see that it moves. All right, so here, put pressure, turn slow, and then reveal the card has been invisibly placed on the table. Now we're gonna do it with four cards. Now there are ways to do it with four aces, which I'm not gonna get into in this video, so we're only gonna look at how we're gonna do it with four cards, but secretly it's actually five. So we're gonna take four cards off the top, doesn't matter which ones, and then we have to steal another one. So there are a few ways of doing that. Let's say I just count one, two, three, four, and as I count four, I actually push five, and I get a break under the fifth one so now as I square up I pick up everything at the break and now you have five cards that's the first way of doing it the second way is if you are going to do the count like this which is nice because it mimics the routine afterwards you can do the exact same thing by getting a break under the bottom card like this transfer it to the thumb and count one two three four cards and as you go to place the deck off to the side you just drop that fifth card there boom that's one way or if you don't want to do the drop and put down you can just literally steal it off as you're counting four so again get that break like this i'm going to count one two and as i come for the third one i drop the bottom one and i put it on top so now there's actually three here as i go to get that third one which is now fourth three and four and then you have five, okay? So those are the two ways that you can do, or three ways that you can do five cards, but they think that there's four, but there's actually five. All right, so now that we know that, we are gonna go into the actual routine of moving the invisible card from your left side to your right side. Here's how we're doing it. So you're gonna count the four cards now in your hand and just keep that double like that in your hand. And a lot of this trick is going to be revolving about keeping a double squared. So make sure that you have proper cards for it. I do suggest a deck that is a little bit more broken in rather than new, because new could be very slippery. And a, one, a deck that's a little bit older will stay together nicer. So I'm gonna start by counting one, two, three cards and leaving the fourth one in my hand like this to show the four cards. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna square up and I'm gonna square up the top two cards keeping a finger break like this as I pick it up and place it down off to the side like that and spread the three. All right, so now you have three in one hand, one over here, but it's in fact two. Another easy way to do this is by just counting one, two, three cards like this, keeping this a double and placing the double off like that. So either way, you're ending up in the same position. From here, now we're going to make the first card disappear by placing it in your hand and showing that the hand is then empty. So the first thing I do is I place it on the table and I tell the spectator what I'm gonna do by picking it up and how magicians palm cards, and this is the, the typical pattern, right? Uh, magicians palm cards, but the idea is to get, a, you know, not to, for it to be seen, and you do a really bad palm like this so that the windows are seen and the card is seen and just like that. So you say, look, magicians palm cards, but the idea is for you not to see it. So you gotta keep your fingers closed and you gotta keep your hand natural. And now what I'm going to do is one of a few different vanishes. Now the first version of this vanish is just as follows. Now this is the wrong angle for it. You're gonna wanna tilt a little bit this way, but I'm just pushing off the card and I'm gonna just pull it back as I seemingly take it onto the table. Okay, so all you're doing is pushing forward, making pretend to come, and it's always great to have a little bit showing here. As I place it down, you're just pulling this this way and place it on the table. And now you can sort of stick it to your hand and say it looks good, right? As I do this, I like to spread two cards like this just so they can see that the two cards are in this hand and only two cards, but in fact, it's just three. So you're just pushing one over like that. Boom, come here and then get that nice reveal of saying, look, it's invisible. That's, uh, you make it look good from the back and the front. They freak out at this moment, and then you slowly come here, put pressure on here, and you're gonna do the move where you're moving here, come down, and make it appear. 
that's the second piece of magic. Now at this point, it really looks nice. You have two and two, uh, and then you're gonna go into the second phase. Another vanish that you can do is the tent vanish, which originally was used for this routine, where you have the card like this, like a tent, okay? And you're gonna come here to grab the card, putting your, your hand around it, and you're just gonna drop the card like that, all right? So it looks like here, show the card, grab it, have the, the finger in the same exact position, come away with it, show, and then show this. All right, and that's a really, really nice way of doing it as well. So you're here, grab the card, maybe grab it first for real. So I'm grabbing it first for real. Show the card, place it back in this position, come here, grab it, let it drop. When you come away, the hand should be in the same position, show it, show it, and then come here and then do it, all right? Now you're in this position, which is really nice because they see two and two. You're gonna wanna switch these two packets, all right? So the easiest way to do it is to just thumb off from the left side, thumb off one card and place it just like that. So now here you have two cards and here you have one. And now when I switch packets, you're ready to go with this one um, or an easier slash harder way of doing it, it weird, weirdly enough, is that when you come with the first vanish, so let's say I come here, I take the card, do it. Instead of pushing this over to show the two, you can do a harder maneuver where you're buckling the bottom card and letting these two top cards fall off so that it's two now in front and one in back. So it just looks like here you're buckling and you're letting the pressure come off. As you do this, boom, now again it's two and two, but now all you have to do from here is just pick up and place it down and switch these two packets. Now again, we're gonna use the same technique to make this one disappear or you know, you could switch it up. So do the first one, the tent vanish, do the second one just like this. As you're gonna do the invisible palm show, I like to take these two cards as one and place it on the table. So I just drop it like that to be very free with it. Show it here, here, turn your hand over so it's blocked. Boom, and now you're in this position, the second card has gone across, and this is the last one to do so. Now what's really nice about this is that this is face up and they see the card. This is the first time that they're gonna actually see a card in the routine, and you're gonna use that to your advantage. So you're gonna say nine of hearts is the last one that's gonna go across. You're gonna pick up these three into the hand. You're gonna pick up the, uh, you know, and if there's a mat, it's easier to just pick it up, so I just slide it off, if not. Pick up the two as one and turn over the double on here, and I'm gonna say the nine of hearts is gonna be the last one to go, and now all we're gonna have to do is get rid of this card and you're clean, because the nine of hearts is already on top, hence the double. So I just pull off one, two cards from the bottom, Grab everything, place it off to the side, and now you're gonna get rid of this however you want. One way of doing it is I did in the video, I just lapped it with a lapping technique, but I'm not gonna get into the exact details on that. A nice way of doing it is just putting it on the deck. Say it's even harder from the deck, look. Palm it off, it's gone from here to actually show it, or you can place it on the table. So you can place the nine on the table, say look, I'm gonna palm it through the deck, palm it through the deck, and then do the move, then show that the nine is nowhere to be seen um, anywhere here, and you can actually show the reveal of the nine right there. And then you're left off with four cards that they could examine, and you could examine your hands, and you have a very nice, I wonder if people do that actually. No, you could look, make sure that it's exactly what it seems to be, and they actually go and check between your fingertips, and then they discover your fake thumb. So that's a very nice, straightforward way of doing this Open Traveler's Invisible Palm routine. Like I said, there are a lot of versions to it. You can go ahead and rewatch my video and find out the ways that I did it for that performance, or just learn a lot of different moves and you'll come up with your own ways of doing it soon enough. The ultimate goal is to have these actually be the aces, so that is your task of coming up with a way to do this using the aces, uh, and then at the end having the aces still be there um, and with a kicker ending that I will leave in the description of how I do my kicker ending so you could go ahead and read the description because I know a lot of people don't and that's always a good place to put hidden information. 
So today's question of the day is what other effects do you want me to perform on IGTV and then break down here on my YouTube channel? Leave your comments below because I do read every comment and that helps me create good content for you guys. So that's it guys. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button because it does help the channel a lot. Leave a comment below of what you want to see. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell because there is a lot of content coming in the next few weeks towards the holiday season. A lot of stuff that you are not going to want to miss because then when you do, you're just going to complain that I missed it and I get these DMs and messages and emails all the time. So don't be one of those guys. Hit the notification bell. Do yourselves a favor. And thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking around. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.